Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about taxonomic categories. We have already talked about classification in which we described that we have tried to group organisms based on some easily observable criteria. Now, this uh, classification system is not a single step process. It involves a number of steps and each of these steps represents a rank or a category. Now, we are going to discuss seven such categories. The first category which we are going to discuss is species. This is the lower, lower most or the lowest category of the taxonomic categories. Now, what are species? Species are basically natural populations of individuals or groups of populations. Now, organisms in a particular species, they represent each other in all essential morphological as well as reproductive characteristics. This is very important to be noted. Now, Another important point to be noted is that they can interbreed freely and can produce fertile offsprings. Now these uh, species can be distinguished from any other closely related species by simple morphological characteristics. We can take an example like potato, it is known as its scientific name is Solanum tuberosum. Now the species is tuberosum. Now uh, we will uh, also can talk about lion which is Panthera leo. Now, Leo, as we can see, is the species. The next category we are going to talk about is genus. What is genus? Genus is a group or assemblage of related species. That is, two different species, if they have related characteristics, they can be included in a particular or in a single genus. Now, it is not mandatory that every genus will have a number of species. Some genus have only single species and such type of species genus is known as monotypic genus and whereas the others which have got a large number of number of more than one species is known as polytypic genus. An example of polytypic genus is Panthera. For example, Panthera leo lion and Panthera tigris is tiger. So we can see it has got different number of uh, species. Now the next is family. It is the it is higher uh, taxonomic category than genus. So what is family? It is one or more related genera. So now, these are separable from the genera of related families by important characteristics differences in both vegetative and reproductive features. Now, for let's take an example. For example, we have talked about the genus uh, Panthera, which includes lion, tiger. Now, we can talk about cat, right? You can see over here, it is known as Felis catus. Now, this cat, they belong to the genus Felis, whereas we have talked about that lion belong to the uh, genus that is Panthera. Now these two since they have got related characteristics they are included in the family Felidae. Now the next higher uh, category is known as order. So now I think you can estimate that order will be some one or more related families. Let's take an example to understand this. We have already talked about Panthera leo, Panthera tigris and Felis catus. Now these are a particular family now, they have resemblance with a different family which is Canidae, which involves mostly wolves. Here you can see it's Canis lupus. Now, for, so we have uh, already mentioned over here, the example is the family of Felidae and Canidae, they can come under a similar order which is known as a carnivore, right? Now, the next is class. This is another higher category than the order. So, class will be, it includes one or more related orders. A very good example is the class Mammalia. So what it includes, it includes mammals like bats, kangaroos, whales, us, we human beings, etc. Then the next one is division or phylum. So includes one or more related classes. Now the word phylum is used for specifically animals, whereas the word division is used for plants specifically. A very good example is the phylum chordates. That means the presence of notochord. This includes mammals, apes which are birds, reptilia that means reptiles and amphibia which are amphibians. The next or the highest category is known as the kingdom. It is the highest category of the taxonomic categories, all the groups, seven groups we have studied. Now for example, it mostly involves uh, kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia. Kingdom plantae includes all the plants whereas kingdom animalia includes all the animals. Now let's we have uh, let's talk about some of the properties of taxonomic hierarchy. 
Now we have seen this uh, taxonomic hierarchy. Let's uh, revise once more. Species, genus, family, order, class, phylum and kingdom. Now if we look into the properties, it's something like if we go in this order like lower category to higher category, then the number of species or the number of individuals in each of these groups starts increasing. Whereas if we talk, if we talk about the similarity between uh, uh, the organisms, then it starts increasing as we go down the group, right? Now, this is a very important portion which is mostly asked in many competitive exams as well as your board exams. Now, to remember this, we can use a, a very good sentence. This is, King Paul cried out for good soup. So, let's see the similarity. King, that is kingdom, Paul, phylum, cried, that is class, out, order, for, which is family, G, this comes for genus, and then soup, it comes for species. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you.